Hey everyone, Sly47. I've got a requested review for the tier eight Japanese cruiser Takao. So let's get into it. What does it do? How does it act? Why do I love it? And specifically, you know, is it right for you? We'll kind of figure that one out. So first and foremost, it's a tier eight Japanese cruiser. Japanese cruisers specifically, they act like super large DDs with really big guns. That's their shtick. And previously to this, you had a lot of rear mounted torpedoes at tier eight specifically, because at tier nine, you get back to the rear mounted torpedoes. Your torp tubes are in the center, which let you do exactly what I'm about to do to this poor North Carolina. So I'm going to slow down, shoot the torpedoes forward firing, back it up and swing the torps around the other side and get them off without having to basically just do circles. Now, of course, in this ship, I've absolutely done circles on teams and absolutely just released a crap ton of torps. You can look at the videos. It's hilarious <laughs> because you don't want to fire in IJN cruisers until you are spotted right here. I get spotted by an actual Benson that's about to pop up here. But to me, I'm like, I'm going to focus on getting these torps out because these are your money makers. Your guns can do good damage, but they're not going to compete with the same tiers. They're more utility. They're more going to start fires once you've put a flood on an enemy and they've healed. They're going to absolutely rip through with AP on DDs really close range. They're going to do decent against cru light cruisers, but of course, heavy cruisers, you're actually going to bounce. The AP just doesn't do it. So this is definitely more of you want to shoot, you know, shoot HE at targets that you can you know you can burn but shoot ap when you know you need to get that full damage pen in but uh let's kind of get back to this here i'm where i'm just gonna be going and trying to follow up uh that bismarck and try to help out my my teammate but of course i'm gonna go back i'm gonna stealth back up this is uh, it's not a time to fire sometimes you know you have to know that fire control in my opinion very well when you are in ijn cruisers because that will get you killed if you fire off too early. Every Zhao commander, even a Buki commander knows you hold your fire until the last moment, until you absolutely need to, or you're going to die because you just don't have the armor to armor or the health to really pick it back up there. You know, there's, there's DDs at tier eight with, you know, this is just double the health of a DD. And that's not a lot for cruisers, even at tier eight, these torps were uh, unfortunately a horrible shot out from there. But Takao, I really like this because there's a lot of map play involved. You're playing a lot of the mini map. You're watching where players are, where are they going to be, and absolutely controlling the amount of torpedoes that you're just producing off of both sides with eight on each side. Absolute devastating broadsides when you can connect all eight. Uh, as you can tell here and there, I'm, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a wider spread because, of course, they're further away. I want to hit something rather than not hitting at all. The precise aim does kind of help with the accuracy issues that the IJN cruisers have. But overall, they're they're accurate enough. Precise aim, I, I use it just occasionally when I'm like, OK, maybe a small target here. Now, here with the Benson, I'm kind of toying with him and he's trying to toy with me, but of course, He's just firing off slow torpedoes that are easy to dodge. I'm just going to pelt him because, of course, he's spotting me. And I've got a Minnesota to the left and a Lexington to the right. So I've got to check where I'm going to be launching these torpedoes. I need, I need to know where. And I also need to make sure I'm getting ready to kind of take some hits because Minnesotas still do hurt. So uh, to kind of go over this while I uh, pepper this Benson here and start getting thinking about when to fire off torps on, uh, on this, the traditional... Uh, cruiser setup would be the equipment that I would use so particularly get the guns turning faster they're pretty slow already so make sure they're on target and actually usable when you need them and then of course you're going to go with your acceleration and your rudder shift because this ship is actually quite nimble and you want to increase that I would totally agree with someone if they decided that hey by the way go double traverse I could see that but in my opinion just having that ability to kind of bob and weave a little bit with torpedoes, as you can tell, I'm constantly dodging these uh, DD torps. Having that ability to speed up and slow down, absolutely great. And uh, let's just remove this Benson from play here with a, a torpedo that they run into and the guns doing the work that they do. So how does this change with the premium sister ship, Maya? 
I would definitely, what I would definitely say is if you typically play with carrier players and you kind of like the Takao, the Maya is just going to be a better fit in those platoons, in those squads, because it has that additional AA and it absolutely rips through it long. It's all long range AA. So expect to kind of basically be near someone else where that has good, you know, short range AA and basically everything just melts. So Maya is a great pick from that. I would definitely suggest picking her up if you end up liking the Takao class. Maya is pretty much a copy pasta with one less gun, and you don't have this third gun that's pointing backwards sometimes, and you're just like, you know, I'm only shooting four, that, and you just look at the, the third turret, and you're just like, and you didn't flip over sides, thanks, thanks a lot, thanks, you, you, you do nothing. <laughs> there are so many times that I've, I've, I shoot, and it's just on the other side for no good reason. I'm like, okay, all right, cool, you're useless, so Maya pretty much would have done the exact same thing as you. That's great. But uh, then, uh, of course, another tier 8 with the Mogami. That's more of a fire starter ship. Uh, unfortunately, it has the rear turret, so you can't abuse the torpedoes as much. So, in my opinion, that's a little bit of a rougher ship, and I feel like Mogami probably still needs some more buffs. Uh, and they buffed it a while back, and I think that it still needs a little bit more just because it's supposed to be, supposed, supposed to be an HE fire starter. It doesn't do a great job. But, of course, in this game, 90k this was actually i needed a re review video and i got a 90k game in the first one so i was like okay well that was that was easy <laughs> um i i enjoy the decal i enjoy the map play of it i enjoy the amount of firepower it absolutely can bring to the table it doesn't have a lot of utility like a lot of other tier 8 cruisers but in my opinion it's still just so good you can't you can't knock it of how powerful it can be. Uh, it does have a little bit of the problem that the Zhao has where a good carrier will shut you down pretty easily because of the lack of torpedo protection and also just, you know, you rely on yourself. If you get spotted too early, it's going to be a pretty early doom. And if you don't get your torps off before that or they spot them early and they're good torp dodgers, it's going to be a tough game, but because of the forward firing uh, corps that it has, or the, the centered torps, it just makes it such an easier ship than the tier 7 or the tier 9, uh, or even technically even the Zhao, even though the Zhao can kind of forward fire, um, at least with one of them. Uh, but yeah, uh, it you know for the entire line, I always kind of view that this is, the Takao is the peak of the line. If you're like, hey, I like this, but I didn't really like the tier 7, it might be time to just you know, finish up the grind here and enjoy the ship uh, for what it is because it's an amazing tier eight ship. And I hope this review informed you and better, you know, made you a better captain with IJ and cruisers because a lot of people play them wrong. They use them as gunboats that happen to have torpedoes when in reality, they're super large DDs that happen to have powerful guns. And if you think of it that way, a lot more time, you're going to win a heck of a ton more of your games and do a lot more damage. So Take it from me. Also, leave it down in the comments of your strategy for IJN cruisers. If you go a little bit differently than me, or you know, hey, what's your tips and tricks? That on top of it, other than just what I showed today, in uh, in the video. Other than that, thank you to the Patreons for helping out support this channel. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing these videos. It really helps out the channel. Y'all are amazing. Have a good one. Peace.